there. So once again, the topic for tonight's session, okay, volume 86 of the online global class will be inequality in the world. So there are five questions here, okay? And I'm going to ask each question to all of you here in our breakout room. And we need to, as much as I wanted, we need to finish, okay, this five. But if the time won't allow us, at least you could express yourself to each question, okay? So just a quick introduction, okay? It's not only in certain countries that inequality happened. Within the whole world, there is inequality in life, in education, in technology, every aspect of life, we experience this. And I'm so excited to hear different answers, different ideas, and even solution on how to end this. Okay? So I'll stop sharing my screen. And now I want to hear, okay, each of you to introduce yourself. All right, so I guess we will start first with Kali from Vietnam. Can you introduce yourself to us, please? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, introduce yourself. Okay. Tell your name, how old are you, and what grade level are you from? Uh, I am 10 years old and I from Vietnam. I live in the city. Hi, thank you. And what grade level are you, Kali? Uh, what level? I don't know. Oh, uh, are you in grade 5, grade 4, or grade 6? It's 5. Grade 5. Okay. Thank you. All right. And uh, let's hear uh, our Indonesian students. Zetel, can you introduce yourself, your age, and what grade level are you? Um, hello, my name is Zetel. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Indonesia. Okay, 15. So are you in uh, junior high school, right? No. Um, <laughs> what grade level? Grade nine or grade ten? I, I don't know. Uh, perhaps you are, if I'm not mistaken, 15, grade nine or ten, junior high school. Okay, and uh, you are a student of teacher Uri, am I right? Yes, teacher Uri Fa. yes. Oh, okay, she's a good friend. Okay, she's a good friend. Uh, you can ask her. You are in this room. Tell her that you are with teacher Brian. Be happy. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Zatil. And uh, from the Philippines. Okay, who would like to start? Would you like to start? Uh, okay, I guess I'll call Mr. Marco. Hello, good evening. Mabuhay. I am Marco Balmaceda from the Philippines and I am a first-year college student and studying at the Laguna State Polytechnic University, Las Banyas Campus here in the Philippines. And Sir Brian is our instructor. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. And uh, let's have Ms. Uh, Bernadette. Hi guys, so my name is Bernadette Panganiban Managat and I am also a student from Laguna State Polytechnic University taking Bachelor of Elementary Education and Teacher Bryant is also our instructor. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Managat. And last but not the least, Ms. Maylin, please. Hello, I'm Maylin Lalabayabas and I'm from the Philippines. I'm taking BS Ed English in LSP. All right. And uh, perhaps she's a little bit shy. She's also my student. Okay. 
So, uh, Kali and Zatil, these are my students and I'm asking them as of now to join this activity so that they can practice their skill. Okay, because this is very important because we are also trying to end this inequality. We would love to give voice to everyone, whatever age you are, whatever country you're from, we want to hear you, okay? You are empowered in this global classroom, okay? Keep that in mind. All right, let's get started. Thank you, uh, students, for introducing yourselves. So our first question, okay? Does the world have inequality? Who would like to start answering? Kali, would you like to answer our question number one? Sorry, I don't know. Okay, no problem, dear. Uh, let me help you. Uh, do you face inequality there in Vietnam? Do they treat you equally in school? Does your teacher treat you equally? Uh, my my uh, school in Ring City is uh equally. That's good. Okay, so they treat you equally. Yes. Wow! Perfect. Thank you. So, for you, you never experience inequality in school. Okay. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Kali. How about uh, Zatel? In Indonesia, do you experience inequality? Um, in my opinion, the inequality that exists in the world is economic and opportunity. I know that not everyone is given the same opportunity to succeed, even if they have worked hard. That's all. Well, what a great answer, okay? It's straightforward, but that's the reality, okay? Economically, we, we experience inequality, not just in Indonesia, not just here in the Philippines, but the whole wild world. Thank you. Thank you. Um, How about you, Mr. Marco? Does the world have inequality? Yes, there is, especially for the different countries. There are many differences, circum circumstances, and or imbalances. In schools, there is. In some places, there are. Even in rules, there are. But this is the reality. We can experience inequality. Well, just like uh, Zetil's answer, straightforward, okay? And not just in school not just at home, okay? But everywhere, everywhere you go, you will encounter this because as of now, we could not say we have a perfect world. We're trying to have a perfect world, right? And we're trying to end this inequality. Thank you, Marco. Ms. Managat, how about you? I believe, sir, yes. Uh, we have an inequality in regards to human rights, opportunities, and also the quality of life that we have right now. Even here in the Philippines, uh, some people are poor or in uh, in the term poverty and some people are uh, having a life that they want in life. Like they are having a life that is expected of many and also um, they also experience like uh, health care that um, people who is on the um, society where uh, poverty is arising, uh, they can have those health care uh, that uh, the people are rich had. Right. Thank you. Um, one challenge in inequality is the privilege to have, you know, proper health care, sustainable jobs, right? It's, it's very difficult. And most of the time here in Asia, we encounter it. Right, Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam. It's really challenging, actually, those three aspects, okay? Because just like what Settle said, economics, okay, the economy. If that part of life 
has inequality, everything will fall. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Managat. How about you, uh, Maylin? Does the world have Hello, inequality? In um, yes, sir. I believe there is um, like social inequality, economic inequality, inequality, and there's also racism and sexism. Mm -hmm. And um, also here in the Philippines as a third world country, so we experience economic inequality and this results to poverty and and sickness and also death. <laughs> wow. Um it's it's also straightforward, but there is the detail, right, guys? When you've mentioned uh you know the gender, okay, the inequality, but we are really trying to cope up because of the gender and development office in every school. I, I'm not sure with other countries, but here in the Philippines, just like in our university, right? We have the gender and development where we cater. We make sure that every gender is accepted. We're trying to remove the inequality when it comes to gender. So thank you. Thank you, Meili. Um, we have another student here. Hi, Duyan. Did I pronounce your name right? Du Duyan. Duyan, can you hear us? I think he's gone, or he or she is gone. I don't know. But yeah, thank you. Thank you, students. Okay. So um I believe at the age of Kali, she's, you know, she she's still trying to understand our lesson. So I will uh, let Kali listen first. Let's start with uh, Settle. Settle, is there any specific case of inequality in Indonesia? Um, many cases of huge unemployed because they do not get job opportunity. Love that. Love that. Job opportunity. Yes. Yeah, here in here even in the Philippines, if you're not graduate, okay, you cannot get a job that will make your life, you know, yes. the, the simplest life, right? If, even in Indonesia, does it happen there? If you're not, if you didn't finish school, you will not get a good job. Does it happen there in Indonesia? Yes, it's same. Okay, well, that's good. You are in school, you will finish your schooling, you'll have a better job, right? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your uh, specific example, okay? You. Welcome. No worries. Uh, how about you, Marco? What's your uh, specific example of inequality here? Okay. There is, maybe I can say this through my observations, where there are other countries that have a good, not totally perfect government, but one where you can see action to meet people's needs. Another, there is inequality because of improvements in each country where you can ask why this country is so different from others. Here in the Philippines, there is, especially in gender. Like, why do we have to see other genders? where we are free to express ourselves. Another, the freedom of speech. Why do we have to stop people by expressing their insights and ideas? Wonderful. Okay, but I'll focus on the freedom of speech. Okay, because if I'm not mistaken, in Indonesia and in Vietnam, it's really difficult to speak when it comes to the government, when it comes to policies you don't have the right if you're just an ordinary citizen. You will just stay there. Okay, you're a citizen, shut up. <laughs> you don't have the power. You listen to us. We're the higher people. We're the government. We know what's good and what is bad for you. But it's not always going to happen like that. Okay? Keep in mind, you have the power. You students, even Kali, okay, because Kali is... You know, she's still young, but who knows? Okay, when she grew up. Satil, okay. Uh, Marco, uh, Ms. Managat, and Ms. Maylin, you are on your step to become someone who will change a better future. 
Okay? So love that. Okay? Inequality when it comes to expressing yourself. Thank you, Marco. Ms. Managat, how about you? Um, you have any specific case for us? Yes, sir. I actually um, see the inequality in regards to the income of the teachers. Uh, the teachers here in the Philippines um, has an income with a low income. And we may see that they have lots of tasks to do and they are still paid with the income that they have. And unlike with the other countries, uh, they have a different uh, person to take this task, like administrative tasks. But here in the Philippines, um, teacher also are the one to um, grab that grab that uh, task like doing administrative doing lesson plan and like with the other countries that they um, someone has to do it for them so i think that would be the inequality here in the philippines with regards to the income thank you well <laughs> um i can relate okay as as a teacher working in a university and also working in a private school um, there's a big difference, okay? It's, it's really challenging that, for example, me working in a university, it should be enough, right? I should give a better life to my two kids and my partner, my wife. But right now in this situation, most especially because of the COVID-19, we cannot just have one job. We should have at least two or three. That's the reality now, students. Okay. Um, for a while, Miss uh, Managat Kali, may I ask, what is the job of your mom and dad? Kali, what's what's the job of your mom and dad? Uh, my mom. Uh, she work as university. Uh. She teach um, many students, and my father, he uh, is engineer. Wow, fantastic. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kali. So you see, in other countries, they can just have one job. But here, for example, uh, students from Indonesia, here in the Philippines now, even if we are working, in the university it's it's not enough we need to work more even in weekends we need to work because of the income is not enough <laughs> that's the reality that's the inequality actually okay so thank you thank you miss managat for your example Maylin, how about you uh what specific just, case? you just invite uh your I friends think, sir here in the Philippines it's the financial inequality and the saying the rich become richer and the poor become poorer like when the person is rich and have done something wrong they uh, can get so away with it but when you're poor you, don't want you can't do anything them. because right? you don't have the power and the money i see well let me help wow that's that's something that, you know, really boggles me. Okay, let me just put in our chat box. Rich becomes richer. Okay, and then the poor becomes poor. Something that we cannot stop with just a snap of a finger, with just a blink of an eye. This will not stop, right? We cannot say that tomorrow there won't be any poor. Everyone will be rich. But the rich can say that, oh, tomorrow I'm going to have much more money. <laughs> why is it like that? Why, why life is very unequal? <laughs> why life is so unfair? Why does the rich, when they say that I need money tomorrow, yes, I, you'll have. Why does the poor, I need money tomorrow, still, you don't have money tomorrow. See, that is one of the most difficult inequality to face. Economy, money, job, better life. 
Thank you. Love your answers, students. Love your answers. Now, uh, I want to know your own perspective, okay? When you hear this question, what does inequality mean to you? What comes into your mind? What is inequality? Okay, let's let's try to ask Kali. Kali, what is inequality to you? Yeah, inequality, dear. What do you? What is? What is it for you? Let's just wait, guys. Okay, because Kali is our youngest student here <laughs> and i want her to you know participate but again thank you to all of you okay Jacqueline, students from the philippines wonderful answers so i think kali is still looking but she will be answering okay let's just wait for a while okay while waiting okay uh Zetel, when you hear the word inequality, what comes into your mind? Um, for me, inequality means there is not, there is no equality between one thing and another. Okay. Um, but on, on your own perspective, dear, when when for example, your mom says to you, "Why is there inequality? Is it that is it the same?" idea or is there something that comes to your mind besides that definition uh i don't think i can't mm -hmm. right now. all right well thank you okay well that that's the reality to be honest right inequality is the opposite of equality but as we dig in deeper okay there is a bigger definition okay a bigger meaning a bigger picture that we need to look okay but thank you thank you zetel for your answer marco for you okay when someone asks you uh mr marco inequality what is it for you the word inequality for me is having difference and having an unequal view of things in this world inequality is a global issue where not only one person is affected but many especially in the eyes of others this word affects many that we need to have uh, a solution to it. In my own experience, there is inequality, especially in some lives of others than Difference. Okay, that's, that's the word that stuck in me when you're talking. Difference. Why in this world we need to be different with one another? It, it's already given that we are living in different countries. But I guess that it that it should only be the difference that we'll have, okay? The difference is that I'm in the Philippines, you're in Indonesia, she's in Vietnam, but we we all have the same life. But I guess that wouldn't be happen because the difference, the challenges. Why can it be, you know, that all of us have the same benefits in life, you know, enjoyment. What? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Marco. Um, Ms. Managa, for you, when you hear the word inequality, what comes into your mind? For me, I think inequality is the idea that someone can be treated differently based on their race, gender, or other factors. And some people not given equal opportunities and resources. Uh, people will not be able to live up to my full potential or to their full potential. And inequality can be caused by many factors such as discrimination, lack of education, lack of access to resources, and just the system. Um, sir, thank you. Perfect. Okay. When inequality also comes into my mind, one of the words besides what you have given the word lacking, okay? We are living in this country, so definitely with our own, you know, with our own lifestyle, we should have all the things with the help of the country. But why is it we are working, we're doing our best, lack, okay? L-A-C-K, 
it cannot be removed. Why is it we are still lacking of some things even if we do our best? Okay? For example, in school, uh, I guess some of the students here, even Zatil and Kali, sometimes you might think, right, that I did my part, but why is it I only got 90? Why did I only get 1.25? Why did the teacher said I'm only good while the other is very good? What is it I'm lacking? See, it, I, I, I cannot say that persons are not contented, but definitely why a person would not be contented because of this inequality. <laughs> okay, and mainly for you, when you hear the word inequality, what comes into your mind? I think for me, inequality yeah. is anything what that's unjust and unfair. For and for me, people. inequality has many faces and all of them are ugly. I mean, it is reassuring to feel equal to others. Wow. However, wow, it is easier so nice. to think and what talk about, about equality what than to attain it birthday. as many have experienced. I think a great example of that is in 1776, the English colonies in North America asserted their claim to self-government. Wow. Well, their famed declaration of independence yeah. proclaimed among truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. They also declared that it was the right of all citizens Hello, to everybody. Uh, and you have time, just only two minutes left. To back to the main room. More than half okay, a just states. finalize and your discussion, please. Talk to later. Okay. Two minutes. I think it's all, it's all black people. And it took almost a hundred years to abolish slavery in USA. And Thomas Jefferson, a prime mover behind the, doc the declaration, remained a slave owner throughout his life. And it's crazy because the aims of the declaration were noble. Yet time was needed for even part of such fundamental equality to be realized. And around the world, many still lack freedom or they suffer discrimination. And realizing this, there are various individuals devote their lives to trying to remove all sorts of injustices and ah, so inequalities. You want to go to that restaurant and and I also think that all men are created equal oh, is a beautiful oh, thought, that, but that it's tragic yeah, that the reality is quite here. the opposite. Can you see the picture here? Yeah, wonderful. Love the specific example, but as you're saying it, I'm trying to contemplate everything. It's like that God created us equal, but we are the ones who are making ourselves different, okay? I guess inequality started all because of the men, okay? The green or didn't want us to be in equal with one another, but it is us who tried, who created this, okay? Um, let me end this session by asking you, okay? What do you think is the best solution to end inequality? Okay. Uh, Zatel, what do you think is the solution to stop inequality? Uh, the provision of targeted subsidy for the community can be a solution to the problem of economic inequality. Wonderful. Thank you. How about you, Marco? Okay, uh, there, are there any solutions? For me, there are many solutions for this, but one of the best solutions may be the act of the government to the people of each country, where the government itself will stand up to have an unequal view for its people. One of the reasons that we can say that there is inequality is the issue of poverty, where we are seeing an unequal view of it and where there, are, there may be a bias on the people in a particular country and there and are there any solutions for this of course there are or there is where the government will act on those issues to have equality and through the help of uh through the help of ourselves we must have an equal view in everything this may help our society to be better to be harmonious and to have nice people in a society 
where there would be no differences and compares, comparison to each other. And we, as part of the community, we should not eye people's lives. We should not look at what they, they, they spoke so many times. I think so, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, this, this topic is really always interesting topic. And mm. it will always get students to, to speak. Mm. Which is good. Yes. I think we need more time on this. Maybe probably we need a version two of this topic. That right. Need to focus on the more detailed yeah. cases and also uh, what they thinking about and also a solution and look at the future. Uh, yeah, that's a lot that we need to do. But anyway, we're going to spin the wheels and choose the <laughs> representative. You guys ready? Bring it on. Stand by. Ready. <laughs> Go. Number three. Room three. Room three. Welcome. Okay, room three. <laughs> Room three. Yes. Uh, okay. Pick up I'm one the, student. Yes, I'm the teacher in charge. We had students from uh, Philippines and uh, Turkey. So mm -hmm. I think I would like to call Lee from the Philippines to share her insights. Lee, raise your hand, please. Lee, are you here? Hello. Great. Yes, okay. Lee, go ahead. Here we go. Um, What's the question again? I'm sorry, I'm working right now. You can talk uh, any any points from the discussion just now. Um, we discuss about inequality in the world. And oh, mm -hmm. we gain a lot of knowledge about how can we stop the inequality and the, what is the specific cases of inequality like that. And, I gained some knowledge the how we'll stop the inequality and the, the knowledge I get is about respect. We must respect each other. We must treat each other very well just to stop inequality. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, now let's move on to the next. There you go. Thanks for sharing. Mm hmm. Wait a minute. Here we go. Let's move on. 15. Okay, so from room 15, I would like Anaya. So she's presented first and she presented with a presentation. So I would like her to pick any one point and explain like what okay. we discussed. Before. Raise your hand, students. Yes, uh, I okay. am Anaya. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Anaya, and from the uh, from the meeting, uh, the thing I learned was uh, that the world is all inequal. For example, some are uh, what we say jobless, homeless, uneducated, etc., mm -hmm. and they are not here to treated equal, uh, uh, equally because of their financial status or uh, uh, a financial status or what they're doing right now or, or what uh, like mm. their future for example uh, I would like to take the three uh, topics of the what uh, ineco inequalities for example the economic equality in that when people are for example jobless or homeless and they're not uh, very ready for financial status that are treated unequally just uh, for uh, just because of their uh, just because what they are doing or uh, if they are just begging or they are like if they are not earning money they are not earning income like so they are treated in unequally they are not uh they given like the best treatments because the money they get and then we have the uneducated people many mm -hmm. of them are very talented very much talented but they are very poor uh, for example, if someone is uh, very much poor, they live in a village and where there are no opportunities, uh, they like and uh, they are very much talented, but it, 
because they do not get opportunity for that that is the reason they never able uh, to express themselves or express their ideas and uh, uh, what we say if someone is very rich but of course he is not talented or he just like he just use waste his money or like he is over pampered or etc they if they don't have an any talent they are they get an opportunity before before even trying to do that or just not uh, keep you know just not uh, like doing it properly or just not doing it and the last uh, topic i would say the social inequality for uh, mm. so for example uh, in here there are many like uh, uh there are like if someone is a doctor lawyer or a uh, businessman or very financial status he is like balanced in it uh, and if someone is a plumber or a maid or someone who is not uh, like financially uh, better at them they are treated unequally and for as i said in the first economic also because uh, they they are uh, they are bullied or uh, in like for example in social media also there it is a very uh, sometimes it's a good and very bad thing also so when people get on social media they discriminate people by the thing they do and like that only if uh, i said the example of that and i think that's only much i would like to say thank you shama it's a great <laughs> presentation and then the one question from me what is your dream you you got a point of the your uh, uh, US society and your society has uh, some cultural and also political like uh, issues and so what is the uh, one of the uh, member of societies and what is your dream so actually uh, my dream is when i become oh, like when i uh, when i'm like 18 or uh, 18 years old or more than that Mm. I really want to explore the world or what the problems they are facing there then I really want to help out with the solutions like uh I I when I get a like questions I try to find the answers for it sometimes I'm not even successful in that but still mm. if mm. I still keep trying and like uh if I see anyone's problem I like to do that thing uh, like there are many uh, small things people are doing like mm. I just saw a video yesterday which was showing that people make uh, jewelry from mm. the ashes of uh, like uh, uh, what we say uh, um yeah trees or when the something is mm -hmm. burned and they're they are not useful they make jewelry from that and i even tried it i was not successful in that of course but yeah i really want to try something new in my life yeah you know remember you are the, my our future okay all of them here uh, our future okay and so uh, i might remind you she's just them so we also discussed in which classes they are and i mm -hmm. think she's uh, they are one of the youngest lot in my room i had 3 10 year olds wonderful wonderful <laughs> thanks for sharing okay everybody let's Thank move you. on to the last speaker okay amazing i so seven key <laughs> okay yeah in my room oh, seven okay you guys yeah. all right yeah yeah uh my room seven we have a student uh from philippines and vietnam i would like to invite jm are you here jm yeah, yes JM. Mom, i'm here yeah from philippines here we Please go share uh your opinion so and our conclusion uh, i'm sorry so yeah go ahead So what we discussed in our break room was that we discovered various ideas and insights about what kinds of inequality exist in the world. There are there's this social status inequality, there's this gender inequality, uh there's also this injustice that happens in inequality as well. And also we also have uh wait Oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's yeah, wages, right. wages. <laughs> salary. Oh um, uh, yeah, there's still the salary, the economic Financial. status uh -huh. and inequality, yes. So, we also learned about 
different ways that we see to solve the problems of inequality, like uh, being open-minded, sharing, accepting each other, learning about different cultures so we would, would be able to accept them. Mm. And also, we also discussed the <clears throat> what kind of forms of inequality that we think would be despicable to other people. We, uh, I think that's all, sir. We, we discovered a lot in our break room. So thank you, Ma'am Wini. Yeah. All right, thanks for sharing. And so, uh, by the way, uh, James, James, yes, sir. What is your future dream? Uh, I think don't, don't, don't say YouTuber, think... okay? Don't say YouTuber, <laughs> no, sir. I think most of us uh, want to be to be able to have a stable life, like a stable job, stable, stable job. salary, yes. Mm -hmm. Most of me and my classmates here are aiming to be teachers in the future as well. Mm -hmm. So I hope that we could meet in the future in this break room as teachers. Yeah, teacher is a must be hard work and like hard task and every day because every second we need to just, you know, help the students learning. But the students also our future, we create our future all the time. Okay, so Jem, you just focus on the stable job, but please just be interested in being a teacher. <laughs> oh, yeah, we talk about that. The <clears throat> best solution uh, to break this. Yeah, education is more powerful. Yeah, education. Okay. Yeah. All right. And thanks for sharing, everybody. Uh, anyone, do you want to say something? The last word? Wrap up the session. Do you want to say something? Teachers? Any yeah, comments? Well, well, any comments? Uh, I I want to say that before I leave, that uh, I hope for a better future for uh, for our students and that uh, um, literacy. Uh, I hope we will reduce um, the, uh, the the literacy levels mm. uh, because illiteracy. Sorry, illiteracy levels mm. uh, because uh, you know literate uh, people. Uh, I think can be. Uh, better leaders, uh, they can be, um, well, they can have the knowledge to do things. That's true. In uh, develop literacy rates in every country. Okay, guys, uh, I don't want to miss the one of the students raise their hand. Hi. I am never miss. Uh, students, Sparsh, do you want to say something last word? Yes, sir. I want to say that, um, like in South Africa, there was a person, uh, Nelson Mandela, he reduced discrimination and the South basic... Africa? Yes, sir. Mm. So he reduced uh, discrimination. So I want that there, there should be more people in the world. I will also try to become uh, like him to reduce discrimination and um, mm. when we are poor. All right. You are uh, even like you stay in India and you have this, a lot of the issues, but now you focus on the other areas in Africa. Thank you so much. OK, uh, everybody, it's time to go. Palak. OK, Palak, you want to say something? Um, so, Mia, it's uh, only one minute. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, I want to end it in like a, in a um, like a fun mode. So uh, the uh, I I guess uh, a lot of people know Spider Man. So there's a great saying that with great power comes great responsibility. This is a mm. saying by Stanley. So if we um, like exchange the word great with equal, so we can say that with equal power comes uh, equal responsibility. So uh, when we get equal opportunities. We have the uh, we have the equal power. When we get the equal power, then we need to have the equal responsibilities to fulfill uh, our aspirations. All right. Yeah, we're gonna draw the straight line like equal rhyme. You got a point. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank Thanks, you. everybody, and a wonderful night and a wonderful afternoon and sharing the ideas. And we're gonna develop and then we're gonna update and whole words with equal thought, okay? So see you next Saturday and have a nice weekend, everybody. Love from Japan.
Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. And bye. 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 See you Saturday. Thank you so night. much. Bye. 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 Bye.